Hey guys, if you're shopping for knives and gear, make sure you check out the description of the video you're watching right now for a link to my Amazon store, where I've compiled some of the very best items available, including some of my own personal recommendations. Thanks! What's going on? YouTube Metal Complex here, and today I've got another short little unboxing to share with you guys. This will not be a little unboxing, and it will probably not be a short one. <laughs> it's just the dialogue's automatic, right? Um, but uh, yeah, this uh, there's a very big box here with multiple knives in it. Uh, was uh, somebody responding to my community post about gathering some more knives for review and for your entertainment. Absolutely. This package was sent by, I forgot, it uh, doesn't say. Um, Daniel, actually, is what it says right there. So thank you very much, Daniel. Um, this, uh, this video also was made possible by, of course, my generous patrons. Thank you so much for supporting me during this time. If you'd like to check out my Patreon, get your hands on some of those cool stickers, you can check out the link in the description. Your support would absolutely mean the world to me. Let's go ahead and slice in here, here. Slice in here, here. In here, here. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Sometimes I get so excited about unboxings. I don't know when, you know, I, I did an unboxing here recently, depending on when I upload this video, you know, maybe, I, I don't want to ruin it if I, if I am saving the unboxing that I'm talking about for a later time, but I, I essentially lost my ability to talk during the unboxing, and sometimes that happens because of the anticipation, uh, and sometimes it happens because the knife itself is just so beautiful or so amazing, you know, the first impression of it is just, you know, so mind-blowing that I, I don't know, I, I just lose my ability to talk. Right now, the ability that's lacking is my ability to um, use a simple tool like a normal human being, or even a caveman. Oh my goodness, we have some treasure in here. Can we bring the exposure up so people can see? Sorry. Get sing song. You know, if you have kids, sometimes things come out in sing song form. Oh my gosh, there is a lot in here. Holy moly, look at this. <laughs> oh my gosh, a pile. Look at this treasure. Here we go. Hang on, let me scoot my. Let me mess this all up. Struggle bus. There we go. God dang, we got a bunch in here today, guys. Hang on. Go through here, make sure we get everything out. There's a note. <laughs> Welcome to the Metal Complex YouTube channel. Oh my goodness. Gifts? Some of these are gifts. This is amazing. Thank you so much, Daniel. That was really, really nice of you. We're going to go over... Gosh. Wow, what a nice guy. Amazing person. Okay, let's... um Look at, look at how nicely these were wrapped. That's always, I, I, I appreciate that. You guys don't have to do that when you send knives to me, but I do notice it. It's really, it, you know, it's just nice. You know, when people go out of their way to make sure, of course, that everything's protected, it's wonderful. Um, okay, we have a Kaiser here. Let's see. Okay, so this is actually one of the gifts. Um, oh, man. I have opened so many Kaisers, and if you guys remember, going back, I struggle with Kaiser boxes. They remind me of uh, Samsung uh, Galaxy phone cases. So this is, let's open this all the way up and make sure. Oop. This is the Kaiser Sea Lion. Is that what this is? This is a gift? Wow, I'm, I, I'm blown away. This is a brand new knife. How, how unbelievably kind of you. Thank you so much. This is actually really cool. I love Kaiser knives. And in this case, we have Contour Titanium, S35VN, and an absolutely 100% usable profile. I, I'm, I'm blown away. Thank you so much. Uh, this is awesome. I mean, this is going to be great, uh, you know, in, in terms of a review and, and absolutely as, uh, you know, a functional knife that I, I can enjoy. Thank you so much. That's wonderful. So we'll move that guy right there. Um, how about we do a, is this a, is this a Tucson? So there's a Tucson in here. I'm, I'm interested. Um, another one here that he has lifted as a listed as a, a gift. I'm just I'm blown away by this. I, I wasn't. He didn't say he was sending gifts. This is just wonderful. Um, okay, so this is the Tucson TS64. Oh my gosh! Always blown away by Tucson because I have to remind myself. Golly, 
I have to remind myself that these are at a price point that is usually way under what people expect. So this is the TS-64. We have D2 and titanium. God, that is beautiful. And let's check the action. Oh, so, shocker. It's, it's basically fall shut. Wow, beautiful. Once again, uh, basically a brand new knife. I have to work on that. has got a nice detent on it. Let's see if I can get... I wonder if I can get my... <laughs> the strength. I don't have the strength to do the reverse flick. Let's see if I can... Can I fire it this way? Can't fire it this way, but what you can do certainly is pinch it open. The flipper tab certainly is the easiest way to manipulate it. That's that's beautiful. I was not aware of that. I, I, I'm almost compelled to ask, are you sure you want to give these as gifts? Because these are beautiful and, ex and fairly expensive knives. Definitely. Thank you so much. Um, <laughs> just, gosh, man, these unboxings just, I, usually I'm so like steady, or at least I think I am. I'm steady through my videos and I don't know how many unboxings I've done this week where I'm just like, buh, buh. I just can't, uh, <laughs> I can't talk. All right. So there's another gift in here, guys. Man, man, this, the knife community is just insane you guys are so awesome this is a hogue and i should have you i should hire you to wrap my christmas presents i'm awful at that so this is a hogue and um it's just called the hogue auto interesting okay let's uh let's get in here oops oh we've got um some tool we got a tool and an extra pocket clip uh, i recognize this Oh, ah, that's cool. That's cool, man. I, I, oh my gosh, I love this. Oh, this is wonderful. I'm a big fan of Hogue. I, I, I think Hogue is vastly underappreciated. I think they make excellent tools. Um, they're made in the USA and I'm always blown away by Hogue's quality. I, I really wish that people would pay more attention to Hogue because every time I handle Hogue, I'm like, why, why are they not more? I mean, I know people like them, but it's like, why are they not more popular? Gosh, that's so cool. 154 CM. What an excellent, excellent user knife. Uh, EX A01. Maybe it's not called the Hogue, probably not called the Hogue Auto. It's that's probably the model number right there. How unbelievably kind. Unbelievably kind. Thank you so much. I am just blown away by your generosity. And I I, I love surprises, but I never I never expect people to just give me gifts. Um, that was just unbelievably cool. Thank you so much. All right. Um, let's get into the, um, the meat and potatoes here. So we actually still have four more to unbox. This is an insane, uh, unboxing. I have no idea what the thumbnail looks like right now because this is past me. You guys have already seen the thumbnail, but I'm sure I went out of my way to make, make sure that it was extravagant. Um, let's just open these up. We got a Riot here. Oh, yes. <laughs> I know where we are now. Oh, I'm just, I'm, the, the flashback of the conversation. Oh, man, it has been, it has been a long journey to finally handle this knife. This is the Riati Epoch. Oh, uh, Riati, did I say Riati? What's wrong with me? Oh, I'm stupid right now. I'm just stupid. Just endorphins and serotonin just, just uh, causing me to lose it. Riot Epoch, exactly as smooth as you described, my friend. Wonderful, full titanium. We have uh, CTS 204P, and we have this beautiful uh, little Timascus inlay. Oh man, I I am just very very excited to finally finally handle that thing. That is wonderful. Uh, then we of course let's go ahead and do this one because I know what this one is. Yeah, really excited for this guy. Um, finally, uh, able to, uh, and, and let me make sure that I'm getting this correct before I say it. Um, yeah, this is the Quiet Carry Drift. And uh, I knew that this was one that I would want to handle the moment that I saw it because of the way that it was shaped. It very much reminds me of the Spyderco Shaman, but look at this. Look what we have here. Diamond Pattern Textured Titanium. A lot of you know... This is my favorite style of titanium texturing that exists. It is aesthetically pleasing. It is functional. It's not sharp usually. And yeah, it, it uh, generally by contrast does whatever finish they do on the blade does it much justice. Um, in this case, yes, absolutely. That is, that's coming through right now. Hopefully that my, my words are matching up with what you're seeing here. 
Um, I'm I'm very happy about this. Um, I, I I dare I say spoiler alert. This is probably going to get a really really good review. <laughs> I, I get why people are losing. I mean, I, this is one of those knives. Where a lot of times with knives, I'm like, what's the big deal about that? It can't possibly be that good. And then I get it in hand. I'm like, oh, yeah. Like the sleeve buoy. This knife, I looked at it and I was like, yeah, that looks like a good knife. And I'm handling it. And I'm like, yeah, this is a good knife. <laughs> oh, boy. This is the best. This is exactly the version I would pick up. Textured. Diamond, not diamond pattern, tit text, uh, textured titanium. Listen to me. Listen to me, guys. This is what this does to me. This is, I'm not, I, this isn't a, a show. This is what happens when I, you know, just lose it on camera. Um, uh, we've got the stone washed finish and then we've got uh, diamond textured titanium. Just wonderful. We have to move on because we're, this is already an 11 minute unboxing. All right. Moving on here, the next pouch in blue and yes. Yes, 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 yes. The new Les George VECP Flipper. <laughs> this is exactly what I wanted it to be. Uh, yes, I love the design of the VECP. I love it. And the one that I used to have was a thumb stud opener, but now I get to enjoy everything that I loved about the VECP except in flipper form. We now have 204P steel instead of XHP. I would have taken either, honestly. And then this texture pattern actually has a specific name. Um, I can, I don't know what it is. We'll talk about it in the review, but the texture pattern is just wonderful. Very unique, very interesting. And then it looks like the other elements that I enjoyed about the VECP are all still present. Um, yeah, wonderfully smooth, wonderfully smooth, a little bit of encouragement there and then wonderful flipping action. Oh, I'm so glad to uh, have the opportunity there. I actually, up until recently, did not know that there was a flipper VECP that had become available because I kept saying like, I really want to look at a VECP on the channel, right? And people are like, did you check out the flipper? Because it's available on the site right now, which by the way, guys, probably still right now, this knife is still available on his uh, on his website. And I believe this is a mid-tech, so expect a mid-tech price made in USA, right? But yeah, um, uh, yeah, that's, that's very great. Very, very much good. <laughs> Very much good metal complex like is the dialogue I'm going to use to uh, say that there. All right. And then the final one here, I believe, is another uh, Rayot or Riot. Um, so much bigger than I thought it was going to be. Oh, man. This is the new Torrent. Yes. Yes. Oh, I'm, I'm very much on board with this. That awesome harpoon blade. For whatever reason, I thought this was going to be more of a, like, medium large. More of like a... Uh, seven and a quarter to eight inch knife. And I think that this is actually quite a bit bigger than that. Um, look at those external stops. Oh my goodness. Those are some, uh, those are some external stops. And then we have, uh, which is something that I very much like. We have RWL 34 on this, um, on this uh, steel or on this uh, blade here. RWL 34 is basically uh, the, uh, it's basically identical to CPM 154. And many of you guys know, uh, the, the 154 CM slash CPM 154 are my favorite user steels. So we have a beautiful design. We have a very comfortable design. We have a very aesthetically pleasing design, even though that's the same thing as beautiful. And then we have it in RWL 34. Um, yeah, that's a, that's a recipe for um, happiness right there. Guys, crazy unboxing, crazy unboxing. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much, Daniel. What an amazing person. Really, really nice. Um, I will be, uh, well, you'll get the message well before this video goes up. But um, yeah, thank you very much, my friend. Um, guys, that's going to be pretty much it for today's unboxing. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. If you'd like to check out my other content, I do, of course, have lots of videos of knives that are either expensive or inexpensive that I do or don't like. So check those out. And if you enjoy all my content, go ahead and click on those metal, uh, that Metal Complex logo right there and subscribe because there's definitely more coming. Thanks again for watching, everybody, and have a great day.